Good evening, Game of Thrones Conquest new players. Um, this video, we're just going to go over the buttons on your screen um, because there are a lot of buttons and choices, so this will not be in-depth um, on every single thing. It's just going to be um, pretty basic. So we'll kind of start um, over here in these five black tabs that you see along the right side of your screen. So the first one um, is pretty simple. It lets you know with the, the little red dot on the side that you have something that's idle. So either um, you have a builder who's sitting around doing nothing that could be if not working on a big building, could be, you know, working on maybe a war camp or med tent or something like that. Um, you have your maester is idle and they could be researching. You want them researching all the time and your smithy is idle. Um, so that's what that top button is telling you. Um, you can easily, by clicking the arrow, um, it'll direct you like, hey, maybe it's a good idea to upgrade this stone quarry. Um, usually it follows along Tyrion's quest, as you see at the bottom, to help you fulfill the next Tyrion's quest if you just straight click the arrow. Um, then you can press the plus um, to add a builder. Um, it'll pull what you have in your inventory if you've got one before it'll ask you to spend gold. Um, the maester, of course, takes you straight into the maester's tower. Um, and then the smithy, of course, takes you as if you already opened the smithy. Um, the second one is your troop training. Um, this is letting you know that all five of these buildings, um, do not have troops training. Say if I went in here, um, just for demonstration and I started training one troop, you'd see it starts counting down. Um, it'll always be the lowest timer and, um, it'll show you that that troop is training. You can click the double arrow to speed it up, but now that it's done training, ta-da, you can collect them if you'd like straight from the tab. Um, and you can, you know, click the little arrows. It takes you straight in to train the highest tier troop that you can. Um, this one is, um, it'll show you your peace shield and the remaining time on there. You'll also notice the purple peace shield in the bottom right corner. Um, that's also telling you the time, but that button isn't only a peace shield reminder. We'll talk about that. Um, it tells you you have idle marches. If your marches were to be out gathering, it would show you um, that the march was gathering and how much time it had left. If it was at a farm or a sawmill or something. Or if it's marching to somewhere, returning from somewhere, or reinforcing somewhere, that information can be found here in the tab. Um, and then the add march takes you straight in to where you would need to go in your um, maester's tower to immediately add another march. As you see, it's telling me that I would need a higher research tower. I would have had to have researched um, a certain topic and all that good stuff. Um, so that's what your, you know, flag is right here. Um, this one is of course your shipment. So there's a shipment in my great hall that's related to event that's going on. There won't always be shipments there only during certain events. Um, the port will always be here. You can collect your port reward from there rather than clicking on the ship steering wheel. Or if your storehouse shipment's ready, you can collect it directly from this one. This is a, this crown in the bottom is often overlooked. This tells me, um, in this kingdom right now that where my keep is sitting on the map is under the influence of these seats of power. Um, so that will change depending on wherever my keep is on the map, um, it will show me which seat of power my keep is being influenced by. Now, your allegiance has to be holding that seat of power for you to get the influence from the seat. Um, you're not, like, for instance, my little alt here is in an allegiance called Alpha, but it's spelled differently than this one that is holding these seats in particular. 
So in this area, you can see it's heavily occupied by this one allegiance. Um, my keep here is just in a little alt allegiance. So it's just all big players, small little alts that we use for various things. Um, so if you click directly onto these, um, how you can find out what the influence is that you're getting, um, these bonuses here, um, if your allegiance holds the seat of power there, um, where it says, um, these are the extra stats that you're going to get for being where you are. Okay. Um, so it's highly beneficial, um, you know, sometimes depending on what's going on to have your keep in an area that's influenced by seats that your allegiance holds, because then you get these stats. Otherwise you don't. Um, so each one has different, um, each seat, you have to click over there, has um, different bonuses that you get for being in that area. And then again, it's only if your allegiance is holding that seat. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. That's just a quick way to check and see um, what seats your location on the map is being influenced by. If I was to random port my keep and it went somewhere else, um, all of these would change under this crown tab. Um, down here where you see this purple, um, this will show you any active bonuses that you have, um, or buffs as some people call them. So you click on this little purple and you see that it shows you your peace shield, um, the current events that are going on. Um, if you click the event, it tells you that you're getting, um, plus 40% economy research speed um, so that's the economy book in your maester's tower if you're researching any of that it's going to research 40 percent faster so it would be a good time during this pre-shadows event to be researching economy um, the growing strong um, that's the shipment i was getting at the great hall it's unlocked right now just while during the eight days six hours this event remains um, and I additionally am getting these bonuses, my siege attack, my siege defense, and my siege health are higher, um, right now than normal. So I could bring down walls faster, um, if I wanted to pour to keep, or, um, if I wanted to, and by pour to keep, I mean somebody else's, like attack them, break down their wall and get them out of a spot I want to be in. Um, or if I'm attacking a seat of power um, that's occupied by another player, my siege will break down their wall just a little faster right now. Um, so these down here are not active bonuses. Do you see how it has attack boost, defense boost, health boost, march size boost? Um, if I click it directly, I can see the boost I have available here. So if I used one of these 10% um, one hour attack boost, then you'll see a timer starts um, and you'll know that that boost is active for that many more minutes. Um, and it'll be the same on any of these boosts here. Um, you can access if you've got them directly from here. If you don't have them and you can buy them in the little store with the gold um, that's in your inventory, um, they'll be here that you can buy them. Um, or if you have them already, you know, you can just use them straight from here. And then when it comes to resources, um, these are like right now, I don't have my farm sawmills, stone cores, anything boosted. Um, but if I wanted to boost my farm and I clicked it, it would take me here and I'd use a boost. And then when I clicked back on my little tab right here, um, you'd see I'm one boost left less on my farm and you see the farm's got the little circles going around it. Now let me move that one and that so it's more clear. Um, and it didn't have those before. So that's how you know if your um, boost is still active is you have those green um, lines going around the resource that you boosted, um, which just means that it's going to produce faster right now. Um, at this point and you can see that um, in the green that I have additional things going on um, that are boosting it so that's that um, 
and then development if I was using um, my second builder, third builder, um, second or third maester, you would see that there would be a timer. Um, so if I used a second builder, you see I have a second builder already that I could use for two days in my inventory. Third builder, you always have to buy the third builder or the third maester. It's always going to be 500 gold. Um, but a second maester, you see I've also got one of those to use straight out of my inventory. That's what that button is for. Um, this kind of moving down to the bottom corner, um, you see the flag down here um, for the liege. And this is where you can pick up allegiance gifts. Um, you can view your allegiance members. Um, you can look at your bannermen. You can change some of your settings um, on there or leave your liege. Um, and of course, you have your raven. Um, your raven is going to show you um, on an earlier tutorial. I was trying to wound creatures, so you see I have a defeated battle report. So all your battle reports um, are organized in here. They're all going to clump together under all under your reports tab. So if you want to look at just hunting reports, you can click hunting and it'll just show your creature battle reports. Um, you can see um, what you won in those creature battles, how much prestige you gained, um, which is the little blue up here by your house, this prestige um, down here at the bottom in blue. Um, when you max that out, you bump up another house level. Um, the house level dictates how much, like what level gear you can make. Um, war. Um, I don't have any messages because I haven't attacked anything with this alt, any other players. Um, and no players have attacked me because I have good bubble discipline. Um, gathering. Um, this just tells me, um, like I had my troops at different things. Um, this is just regular farms. There was recently a strategic, um, node event, which is different. They only come up every now and then. So that's telling me what I won from finishing that, um, you know, and, and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, your notices, this is going to be anything from the game. This is going to be, um, another game item like uh, this is or rewards from what I got during a regular event fooling around here my allegiance <laughs> you can tell this is a little alt allegiance 59th place um you know and so on in the notices um and then if you just want to know the notices directly from the game makers about um you know this is your allegiance rewards, your personal rewards, things like that. Um, and then messages. Um, you can see that um, this is messages from other players only back and forth. So that's what your raven does. This button um, with this little um, scroll with the sun on it um, in the middle. If you click it, this is your daily quest. Um, as you complete your daily quest, they add up, um, and when you get enough points, then you see your total points at the top, 25, and when I get 30, it would open this chest, and the rewards of the chest would be this. I'd get dragon lore, and, and gold, and writ, and house prestige. Um, of course, your inventory button, you can sort your inventory by war things, which are teleports, your march recalls, um, peace shields, different boosts for attack and health and, and march size. Utility are these things like, um, you know, prestige that you might want to collect um, and, and other items. Um, speed ups, this will show you all the speed ups you have and then just um, resources or all store is different um, than the game store where you're buying packs with cash. Um, this is where you can buy various resources, um, teleports, uh, stamina, different war boosts of different kind. Um, 
So you can use your gold to get these things. Recipes. Um, these will be active um, only while certain events are active. Um, so recipes are you combine event trophies. And when you see this um, blue exclamation point, that means you have enough of something to make that. If you don't see a blue exclamation point, you don't have enough um, to make these recipes. Okay. Um, the basic recipes are different. These are old events. Um, and I have, you know, say a whole bunch of these little, they like little stingrays or something. I forget what they're supposed to be in the actual thing. Um, <clears throat> but you can use the max button to make the most, um, trader script. Um, so I'll combine some. So now that I've done that and made more trader script, you see, you know, that I have all these blue exclamation points. Um, because I can now use the trader script that I made to make wood if I want it. Um, as long as I have this little blue, this little paper, which is my trader script and the coin, um, then I can, you know, make a bunch of wood. Um, I can make 2 million wood right now if I wanted through that recipe. And on slate, slate's a big deal right now. It's just trading, um, the Marinese honor coins, um, that I've earned through other things, um, for slate. Um, so I'll go ahead and combine that and get some slate for my building enhancements. So there will be different recipes at different times. Um, so just look out for those. Then you have um, this map right here um, next to your inventory. And this map will show you um, seats of power. Um, when you just look at it dead on, it just shows you the big seats um, and who controls the big seats right now in this kingdom. Um, as you can see, my main allegiance, Omega, is losing a lot of ground to alpha. Um, it's just getting crazy and high powered and, um, it's getting nutty, um, after this last merge. So you have those major seats of power. And if you zoom in, um, close on the map, then the minor seats of power pop up, the smaller ones. Um, and you can see which allegiance owns all the smaller seats of power around the map as well. Um, so that's how you do that. And if you click a banner, for instance, um, you can see the name of the seat. You could get info if you click that or, um, go to on the map. So that's what that button does. And we'll do a whole, um, video where we just talk about this map and all the buttons on here. Um, to get back out of here, you can just click the map again. And it takes me back inside my keep. Um, of course, this little swirling golden orb over here at the bottom, this big fat button, if I just click it, it'll take me outside. And it'll take me inside. Um, and of course, I'm sure you know Tyrion and his, his rewards now. And then... Um, as I showed you up here, um, this is a versus kingdom event going on, and this is um, inside my own kingdom, the events and upcoming events. So um, those are the buttons in a nutshell. Um, also, your power bar, if you click it, you can see where you're getting your power from um, and that sort of thing. So those are the basic buttons that wrap your screen. Um, and I hope that kind of helps you learn to navigate those and their basic functions, what it takes you to. Um, and like I said, there will be more in-depth videos on those. But if we go outside the keep, um, other buttons show up that weren't there inside. 
um, mainly one, and it's this compass right here, this little blue one. Um, and I'll do a video entirely about the creature finder, um, which is what this little compass is right here. So that's an overview of your basic um, control buttons that rim your screen and what they take you to. This is Mistress Yoda signing out.